Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving in today's video 8 to the x plus 2 to the x is equal to 30 and we need to figure out the value of the x. So first of all, we see that we have the same exponent in these two and we have 2 in here and we have 8 in here which we know is 2 cubed. So we're just going to plug that in here. So we have 2 cubed to the power of x plus 2 to the x is equal to 30. And from the laws of the exponent, we know when we have a to the m to the n, this will be equal to a to the n to the power of m. Basically, we can switch these two. And if we do that, we'll get 2 to the x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the x is equal to 30. And the reason we are doing that is that we can call in here our 2 to the x y. And if you do that, we simply have y cubed plus y is equal to 30. And now we have to figure out what we can do in here. What we can do in here is that instead of 30, we know 27 plus 3 is 30 and we know 27 is 3 cubed and we have 3 which is 3 to the 1 is equal to 30. So if you bring the 30 on the other side of the equation we'll have y cubed plus y minus 30 so when, bring, when we bring a number on the other side of the equation or any variable we just have to change this sign so minus 30 and in here we can do y cubed minus 3 to the 3 plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. So basically we are splitting this 30 to uh, minus 3 cubed and minus 3. And we can see that this is getting a uh, familiar algebra formula for us. So if we look at it in here, we'll see that we have difference of 2 cubes which we know if we have a cubed minus b cubed, this is simply a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So for that expression, we have y minus 3 times y squared plus 3y plus 9 or 3 squared. And we're going to end up with this as the rest of the expression, which is basically y minus 3 is equal to zero so now we can see the common factor in here which is y minus 3 so we can factor y minus 3 so we have y squared plus 3y plus 9 and the last one we have plus 1 is equal to 0 and we are seeing a times b is equal to 0 which means our a can be 0 and our b can be 0 too from the first one, we have y minus 3 is equal to 0, meaning our y is 3. And don't forget that what we called y was 2 to the x from the previous step. So we have 2 to the x is equal to 3. And we have x in the exponent. And I'm sure all of you guys know for these kind of things, we go with the logarithm on each side. So we'll have log of 2 to the x is equal to log of 3 and from the laws of the log we know that when we have log of a to the b this b can go in the back of the log so it will be equal to b times log of a and in here we'll have x times log of 2 is equal to log of 3 and if we divide both sides by log of 2 we'll get x is equal to log of 3 divided by log of 2. And now from another law of the logarithm, we know when we have log of a divided by log of b, this will be equal to log base b of a. And in here we will have x is equal to log base 2 of 3. And that's going to be the first answer for us, log base 2 of 3. And if we get back to the, the other condition that we have in here, we might have b is equal to 0. So our b is y squared plus 3y plus 10. So let's see what we can get from here. y squared plus 3y plus 10 is equal to 0. And we have a quadratic equation, so we can find the quadratic formula. But don't forget that we called y 2 to the x, which we know for a fact is greater than 0. So in here, our a is 1, our b is 3, and our c is 10. 
So if we find the discriminant here, we have b squared minus 4 times a times c. So basically we have 3 squared 9 minus 4 times a times c which is 10 and basically our discriminant is 9 minus 40 which is minus 31 meaning that this is going to give us complex answer which is not something that we are looking for in here and we'll end up with only one answer that we have in here and that would be the answer for this question so as we can see it's not easy to come up with x by just guessing different numbers to come up with the answer and we need to get familiar with those algebra process to get to the answer and as we can see at the end the answer was log base 2 of 3 which is not something easy to guess uh, at the first place hope you guys find this one helpful too uh, of course you can do the graph of 8 to the x plus 2 to the x and do the graph of 30 and try to figure out when these two crosses each other and if you do that uh, you can probably see that you'll end up with a graph like this uh, which would be 2x plus 8 to the x and for y is equal to 30 you'll get something in here which is our y equal 30 and this would be what we have in here uh, or the answer that we have for this question that's another way to find the answer for this one but obviously uh, plotting this graph is not an easy thing to but definitely something good to get an idea about the number of the answers that you have for this one and that would be all i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one